I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to fucking wait. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. While I wait, how about we look at this view? I'm in Chicago tonight. Navy Pier looks so pretty at night. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna motherfucking wait. I, I just, I've never done it. I've never done it. I've never gotten on live to talk about anything because I just don't. It makes me nervous. I don't like it. It's a lot of people looking at me in one motherfucking time, but I have something to motherfucking say today. So, what are we at? 8,000? Gonna wait! I'm going to wait. Nine thousand. Still waiting. No public service announcement in this bitch. Sorry. <sighs> Someone said, "Get it off your chest, sis." Yes, today's the day. It's your lucky fucking day. Um, I really feel like I should wait till about twenty k, but. Knows. You have to understand. You have to. You have to be patient because I don't do this live shit. So if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna have the motherfucking audience. So still waiting. W's fucking bed sucks. What the fuck? This is not a good bed to jump on. Alright. Look. 12K. Okay. Where do I motherfucking start? I'm tired, okay? I'm motherfucking tired of the bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. What? Just what did I do? Like, can somebody just tell me what I did? Like, what did I do? What have I done? You know what I do? I mind my motherfucking business, bitch. That's something y'all should learn how to fucking do. I, I mind my business. I literally, I don't fuck with nobody. I don't, I think the only beef anyone has ever seen me in was literally somebody uh, who shall not be named baby mama coming for me, came for, came for me. I don't come for them. What the fuck am I going to come for you? What What could I possibly have to say to your ass? Anyway, um... It's just, it's just really getting annoying at this point. It's like everything that I do, it's really fucking crazy. But anyway, what we're going to address today. Not fucking, I'm on here, let's address it all. Uh, I'm being bullied, okay? And I don't do shit to nobody. Um, the most that I've even come out and said anything, because one time it was getting really bad about like bullying me, was like uh, the social anxiety shit. I didn't even speak on it on a video. I made a motherfucking, um, I made a post, you know, and that shit was real. That was a real ass post. And at the most, like, no one even believed that I had it. Oh, bitch. Blah, 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 blah. You don't have it. You don't have it. So then when I accept my Soul Train Award, I cannot even accept an award in peace. When you actually see me get my award and you see how I spoke on the stage. Thank you, and then on the check, bitch. Look, I sounded slow. I was scared. I was scared, okay? Everybody else gave a long ass speech. I didn't because I have social anxiety. I was scared as fuck. And um, then everybody decided to say it was an act. Oh, it's an act. It's an act. Bitch, you're dragging it. So this is, I just want to let y'all know, not me, bitch, because I'm living a great life. But 
this is how people commit suicide okay when people tell you what's literally going on with them and then people still continue to bully them like wendy fucking p williams that bad built bitch i don't even understand how she could ever look at how she looking let me stop um because i didn't come on here to spread negativity i just came here to explain myself um yeah the fact that someone can showcase like like show that they're they're really having a problem and then you still make fun of them that's just like fucking ridiculous it's craziness it's wild all right so we're also going to adjust oh no i have one more thing to say before we get into the toronto uh situation i'm just gonna i'm gonna just put it all out there i wash my motherfucking ass okay i wash my pussy hole i wash my asshole i wash my everything i brush my teeth i fucking wash my hair i do all that shit what i said was i don't like to take showers i still take them daily i prefer baths but i take showers daily you know what some people say they don't like to work out but they get their fat ass in the gym and they still work out. A lot of people say they don't like to eat healthy, but they still eat their motherfucking vegetables, bitch. I don't like to take showers. I just don't like it. It's something about like, okay, so I'm really like OCD or whatever. And in any shower that's not at my house, like I like taking showers at my house, but somewhere else, it's usually like the, the crevices of the floor. There's like little dirt. Like even if you can't see it, there's dirt in the crevices and all on the sides. And it's just a big, like I just feel like I'm just standing in a big germ infested fucking cell. And it just, may, it's gross to me. I don't know. So, but as I said, I, I will repeat one more time. I wash my pussy hole. I wash my asshole. And I wash my face and my whole body and my underarms and all that. And all that good shit. I brush my teeth. I do all that shit, all right? Um, and, 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 and another thing. I need you bitches to stop acting like, hey, none of y'all. You, your mommy, your grandmommy, your sister, your motherfucking auntie. Everybody, everybody that put their foot up on that sink and wash that pussy. Everybody has. Everybody has. It's called a whole bath. Everybody, especially if you was a stripper. Especially if you was a stripper. So I want you to stop fucking acting bougie like you ain't wash that pushy in the sink. Because I know you have. All of you have. Um, now that that is off of my shoulders and my chest, uh, we're going to talk about this motherfucking... Oh, 16K. Almost. We're going to talk about this motherfucking Toronto situation. Y'all bitches got me fucked up. Y'all bitches got me fucked up. All of y'all are motherfucking disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my label. I'm sorry to everybody. I said I, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I, it's like, fuck. I can only take so much this motherfucking point. So look, this, let me tell you about my day the other day because I had a long ass motherfucking day. You, see, the, the, the real thing is y'all don't even know what the fuck goes on behind the scenes. And y'all just be quick to talk, quick to talk. Before I even get into this, my tour that I've been doing, I have fucked up sound people. So every motherfucking day, when I'm trying to focus, I already got social anxiety. I already have thousands of people. I'm not on that level anymore. 500 people. I have two to three to four, 5,000 people staring at me. That freaks me out. So I already have that going. And then I can't even get on the stage and focus on what I'm supposed to focus on, like the lyrics or like interacting with the crowd or anything like that. Because these niggas keep fucking my shit up. They'll, 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 they'll motherfucking, they just fuck shit up. The song will start in the wrong place. Uh, the motherfucking mic go out. Something will happen. Something will happen. Auto-tune, if I have a, decide to have auto-tune on the song, it'd be in the wrong motherfucking key. I get ready to pick up the guitar, the motherfucking sound will come on. I had to fire my sound team twice. Twice. Y'all don't even know what the fuck I be dealing with. So... Anyway, going back to Toronto, um, yesterday I couldn't find my motherfucking passport in my, um, in my birth certificate. This shit had disappeared. I don't know how. I spent the day tearing up the motherfucking house. So I had to leave from Vegas to Atlanta. I had to be up at 5 a.m. to go to two different offices to get a new passport and a new fucking birth certificate. Then hop on another mother fl flight, mother nut, another motherfucking flight to Toronto. By the time I got to Toronto, all I had time to do was check in my hotel, wash my ass, and get to the venue. 
I had 10 minutes to get my makeup done. Like, y'all don't know what goes behind the scenes. Like, it's, a, it's just all day, constant, constant, constant. By the time... I don't know anything. I didn't even know I was motherfucking late. I just get on stage when they tell me, but you were hanging out with Drake. Drake, bitch, I'm about to tell you about it. So I hope that you, I hope that you stay on here so you can really get the story because I'm really tired of you motherfuckers. Y'all is disrespectful. Um, hanging out with Drake, bitch. Anyway, by the time I get to the venue, I have 10 minutes to get my makeup done. I go on stage when I'm told to go on stage. I didn't know I was late. I didn't know if I was early. I didn't know anything. When they tell, when they come get me in my dressing room, that's when I get on stage. I was sitting in the back like a creep. Drake told me he was going to come to my show. I told him don't come because I suck. I literally told him don't even come while y'all are sitting around here thinking about you just want to hang out with Drake. You want to hang out with Drake. I told the man don't come because I suck. That's how I feel. Anyway, he comes very grateful very 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 grateful very nice man very nice man every time i've met the second time i met him he is extremely sweet the thing is though we only spoke for two minutes so how the fuck just just everybody you i know common sense ain't common but just add it up how the fuck i miss four hours i'm four hours late for a show but from hanging out with drake when i only had a two minute conversation with him I wait. How the motherfucking fuck does that work? I literally got in there, had 10 minutes to get my makeup done. By the time I do that, him, Meek, and um, some other niggas walk in. London's like, come on, babe, let's go say hi. Because I don't even be wanting to say hi because I'm a creep. I say hello. We take a picture. We talk. We probably exchange about literally two sentences, bruh. And then they said, Summer, it's time to go on stage. That's exactly what happened. I don't know what the f I didn't know nobody was outside. I didn't know it was cold. I didn't know it was raining. I didn't know about none of that shit. I just did what the fuck I was supposed to do. Um, I did what I was supposed to do. By the time I get on stage, if I had known motherfuckers was waiting outside for motherfucking four hours, I would have said, hey, bruh. I really apologize, da 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 But there was nothing to explain because... It was nothing that to explain because um, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, just to clear that one more time, nobody was fucking running around the motherfucking uh, city with Drake. I have a man, a whole man, and he's crazy at that. I can't, he don't even let niggas walk up to me, talk to me, breathe, breathe on me. So, there was no, uh, yeah, there was no, none of that. So, anyway, by the time I get on stage... No, fuck all that. The reason why y'all, like, I guess that y'all was even late or outside or waiting on me or the situation was late was because Toronto's motherfucking borders, please listen carefully and closely. Toronto's borders are out of this fucking world. They held my motherfucking truck up with all my equipment, my band equipment, my motherfucking, that thing in the back of me that be spinning they hold they held all that shit up at the border for mad long that i didn't even know about until today um so bitch how we gonna play a show with with no drums and no fucking mics and no motherfucking guitars and uh, see it's out of my motherfucking control but y'all too busy talking about i'm running around like a uh, drag dick like what the fuck i didn't even have we, we didn't even have nothing we didn't have nothing so um, and the border is really that strict because, my guy, I have to go to the mall today because I don't have no clothes. They stole my motherfucking bags. The Toronto Border Control or whatever you want, when I was giving them my passport, they told my ass to go to bed. Bitch, I thought I was going to jail. They had me damn near in a holding cell. And they took both of my bags. And now I have to wait to to, to 10 bucks to when they're going to send my shit. I'm, I'm, I'm in dirty ass motherfucking... Um, pajama pants this is what i'm gonna be wearing to the show tonight bitch if they don't send my motherfucking bags so yeah that's what the fuck happened and i'm really tired of y'all bruh because this shit is just 
this shit just getting wild at this point. This shit is really getting disrespectful. Like, the messages that I've gotten today are so hurtful and so disrespectful. And it's like, nobody even knows what the fuck I be going through. You think, you think artists just motherfucking uh, fall down gracefully from the sky onto the stage? And then they perform. No, bitch, it always be some shit. The makeup lady uh, didn't fucked up. The hair bitch that made you look fucking stupid. The motherfucking wardrobe late. The plane delayed. The fucking everything just always be fucked up every motherfucking day. And then I got to get on stage and act like ain't nothing happened. Um, so that that's what the fuck I had to say today. And that's just it. And that's that. And I hope y'all take this to the motherfucking shade room. Because I'm honestly tired of being on the motherfucking shade room. I'm on that motherfucking shade room every motherfucking week. Shit. And that's it. So save that shit to your phone or something. Fucking fucking uh suck on that i'm just trying to make sure that i've got it all off my chest because i'm not coming back i think this shit is personally stupid i think it really is dumb um but hey <sighs> so bye